Having one cup of coffee every day can do this to your body. In the morning, we may all benefit from having a cup of coffee that's worth drinking. It's the ideal pick-me-up for when you need it, as well as an excellent method to get your day off to a strong start. Because drinking coffee can frequently be beneficial to you, get through your tasks or making them more bearable. Whatever comes first. There is no reason to doubt why. It would be your favorite drink, but how much of an expert are you when it comes to coffee? The justification for drinking coffee is greater than it has ever been. And right now you have a better chance of getting more from your morning beverage of choice than you originally believed. Coffee is loaded with several chemicals that could help protect someone from developing type 2 diabetes or heart disease. Not limited to these, however, there are quite a few things about coffee that you probably aren't aware of. Now, go ahead and get your coffee. Joe, make sure you stick around to the finish because we are going to go over 11 fascinating facts about coffee. Let's get started. You are not going to believe it when I tell you that coffee comes from a fruit. You might believe that coffee farms are similar to tea plantations and that the coffee gets its properties from the harvesting process. To wit, the leaves, but unfortunately, that is not the case because they include seeds. Coffee cherries are classified as a type of fruit, which, unlike the root, are not actually a part of the plant. Fruits are produced by coffee plants, which also allow beans to develop. Internal to them, this might result in the production of berries that are either red or green in color. The color of the berries plays a, a more agreeable aroma and are lower in acidity. As a result, lighter roasted coffees are often considered to be the preferred variety. You probably weren't aware of this, but did you know that coffee can also be made from the droppings of cats and elephants? Yes, you did hear that correctly. As insane as it may sound, coffees that combine flavors in this way are extremely popular all around the world. But people who drink this type of coffee do not typically love coffee made from coffee made from red or green berries. Do you understand why drinking coffee gives you an energy boost? Coffee contains a significant amount of the stimulant caffeine. Your energy levels will increase as a result of caffeine because increasing your metabolic rate while also combating weariness. Furthermore, increases the amount of the energy hormone adrenaline that is released from your brain. A neurotransmitter known as adenosine is blocked from acting by caffeine's action on its receptors. Your nervous system manages levels of adenosine and when you start reaching to a level where it could be harmful. Because of this, you may feel the urge to take a sleep or, at the very least, to slow down what you're doing your adenosine levels will return to normal after consuming coffee and your levels of other neurotransmitters, such as your brain's dopamine levels go up, which results in improved physical performance. A research in which participants cycled after consuming caffeine found that coffee increased the time it took for them to. During a cycling activity, they were able to cut their level of exhaustion in half while also dramatically reducing their fatigue levels. Another study with same findings looked at golfers' performance instead of tennis players. It, it was discovered that taking in caffeine both before and during a round of golf improved one's performance, decreased levels of tiredness and higher overall levels of energy that people report having. We are aware of how much you enjoy coffee. So as a special treat, we bring you this coffee, which goes by the name the Bulletproof's Original Roasted and Ground Coffee. This is a ground coffee with a medium roast, caffeinated, with recognizable undertones of cinnamon, plum, and orange, and finishing with cocoa hazelnut. The kernels are of the very best possible quality, carefully selected by hand to ensure the highest possible level of flavor and consistency. Adopting organic techniques without the detrimental effect on finances that a certification would have. Impacts on the local farmers. In addition to this, it has undergone stringent inspections and been given a clean bill of health in order to help you maintain your coffee that is unadulterated and free of jitters. Check out the link that's provided in the description down below to receive your copy right away. To circle back around to the subject at hand, coffee has been shown to reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Diabetes type 2 is a chronic condition that alters the way the body reacts to sugar. Maintaining a high blood sugar level can put a person at risk for serious health issues. Drinking coffee on a regular basis can make it easier to avoid developing type 2 diabetes. According to the findings of a review, those who drink coffee had a lower likelihood of acquiring type 2 diabetes than those who don't drink coffee, and this is the case regardless of whether or not the coffee has caffeine in it. This effect is caused by coffee preventing the beta cells of the pancreas from losing their functional capacity. It is responsible for producing the insulin that keeps your blood sugar levels in check. Additionally, coffee 
includes magnesium, a mineral that helps your body benefit from the breakdown of sugar. Are you attempting to get control of your weight? There is some good news for you. Caffeine may also assist with weight management, maintaining physical fitness, and preventing obesity. Coffee improves the health of the digestive tract as well as the body's ability to store fat, resulting in improved weight management and cardiovascular health. A recent study indicated that males with lower body fat eat higher amounts of coffee as part of their daily routine, their daily schedule. Additional research demonstrates that this has the same effect on females. A different study came to the conclusion that those who ingest drinking more than one cup of coffee each day was associated with a nearly 20% increased risk of getting Alzheimer's disease. Their suggested daily amount of physical activity completed than those who consumed fewer than one cup daily. You can include coffee in your strategy to lose weight, but you should be careful not to add any sugar or milk products that are high in calories. It's possible that the following information will come as a surprise to you. Drinking coffee reduces the likelihood of developing depression. The consumption of coffee has been demonstrated in several studies to reduce the risk of and aids in the reduction of the symptoms that accompany it. Coffee drinkers have an 8% lower chance of developing depression for every cup of coffee they take on a daily basis. According to the findings of one study, more than 200,000 people drink. Drinking coffee was connected with a reduced chance of dying by self-harm. According to the findings of yet another study, drinking four or more cups of coffee on a daily basis was associated with an increased risk of. In comparison to those who consume only one cup per day, those who drink multiple cups per day have a noticeably lower chance of developing depression. Additionally, your liver really like the taste of coffee. Disease of the liver is a serious disorder that can result in life-threatening consequences in one's health. It includes cirrhosis. Interestingly, the good news is that coffee may protect your liver from illness and help it maintain its health. One study found that drinking coffee every day cut the risk of dying from chronic liver disease by a third, 15%. If you are a regular consumer of coffee, you are likely going to be glad to learn that. When consumed on a daily basis, drinking four cups of coffee reduces the chance of dying from liver disease by almost 70%. According to the findings of a study, drinking more than two cups of coffee each day reduces the risk of carcinoma of the liver and scarring of the liver if you already have liver disease. The rigidity of the liver, which is connected to the production of scar tissue, is reduced by coffee consumption as well. Drinking coffee is healthy for your heart. Coffee has been shown to be beneficial to the health of the heart in general. You can reduce your risk of developing cardiovascular disease by drinking 3 to 5 cups of coffee every day. Increases overall heart health and decreases the chance of death brought on by cardiovascular problems. According to one study, consuming close to 4 cups of coffee or tea cup of coffee you drink each day can cut your risk of having a stroke by 21%. Additionally, there is, according to the findings of another study that had approximately 21,000 participants, drinking a lot of coffee reduces the risk of heart failure by a large margin. However, if you are a fan of coffee, keep in mind that caffeine has been shown to help regulate blood pressure levels. So, caffeine consumption should be limited or kept at a moderate level if your blood pressure cannot be controlled. Coffee's effects on the brain extend far beyond its ability to merely bolster concentration. Consuming coffee may provide protection against Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a degenerative condition that neurological condition that impairs one's cognitive ability and ultimately results in memory loss. The answer is sadly no. No cure at this time. Although early diagnosis and therapy can definitely delay the disease's course if it is received. An analysis of previous research indicated that the more coffee one drinks, the lower the risk of death from any cause. Your chances of getting Alzheimer's disease are increased. It also lowers the probability of developing Parkinson's disease. Similarly, Parkinson's disease is a degenerative neurological illness that ultimately results in a struggle in maintaining equilibrium and moving about. It is now incurable, just as Alzheimer's disease, and there is no known treatment. However, there are medications available that can impede the disease's course. If you consume coffee on a daily basis, on the other hand, you put yourself in a substantially higher risk category. Caffeine may also decrease the progression of the disease, in addition to lowering the risk of acquiring Parkinson's disease. Consuming coffee in moderation may also reduce one's risk of developing dementia and other forms of cognitive impairment. Consuming coffee also has positive impacts on the appearance of your skin. Polyphenols, such as chlorogenic acids known as CGA, are found in coffee beans. These compounds may 
has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties, both of which can serve to protect you from the effects of photoaging. You can use liquid coffee on your skin, or you can make a scrub out of ground coffee. Originating from the lance, psoriasis, eczema, and other skin conditions may be helped by this. Eczema and acne. It is imperative that the coffee be allowed to cool before being used. Not to mention, coffee is great for improving your athletic performance. You might be aware that caffeine can have a drying effect on the body, which is one of the, among the primary reasons why fitness experts advise avoiding coffee before and after exercise. However, according to a recent study, consuming modest amounts of caffeine prior to, people who exercise have greater endurance and a lower perception of the effort required to complete tasks. Coffee is frequently used as an ergogenic aid by athletes who are aiming to increase their performance, both in terms of performance and energy levels. A performance enhancer is another name for what is known as an ergogenic aid. According to the findings of another study involving approximately 125 older persons, coffee consumption was correlated with a significant increase in both the physical performance and the walking speed. Despite the fact that the researchers took into account parameters such as age, fat percentage, and levels of physical activity, it's fantastic to learn about all of these facts and benefits to one's health from drinking coffee. Nevertheless, this does not imply that you should hastily increase the amount of coffee that you drink. Some of you, in particular, at high enough concentrations, coffee is capable of causing irritation, anxiety, or agitation. It can also cause, reduce the effectiveness of sleep and lead to insomnia. If you have hypertension, drinking coffee may cause your blood pressure to rise. Pressure. Avoid drinking coffee if you are pregnant or breastfeeding because it may give you a jittery feeling. How much coffee is regarded to be healthy? and how much coffee is considered to be too much. Between two and three of a medium size. Cups per day are okay as long as they are devoid of milk, cream, and sugar. Caffeine impacts everyone differently. So if you start experiencing any adverse side effects, call your doctor right once. You might want to think about reducing the amount of coffee you drink. While it's true that all of us are huge fans of coffee, it's critical to keep in mind that even even the most objective scientific research can be interpreted in a variety of ways. To that end, by all means, I hope you enjoy your morning beverage, but please be cautious about how you interpret the following information. Would you like to find out more? Tell us your thoughts in the comment box down below.